Hello, welcome back, it's Lynx. Today we're talking about making money as a musician. During quarantine, and how you can make it possible for yourself to live off of what you do. I'm gonna take you through the things that I do that make it possible for me to make a living off of just doing music alone. A year ago today, I was in a place where I never thought that this lifestyle would be something that I would be able to achieve. A year ago, I was modeling to make money. Not only modeling, working as a caterer, I was working events. I was doing so many random things to keep myself afloat in New York City. Today, I'm happy to say that all of my income comes from music and it's surrounded by music making and teaching music. As always, like and subscribe if you wanna keep updated on my videos, I post one a week. And the point of my channel is basically just to take you through the trials and the errors and show you a lot of what the reality looks like when you're a musician and you're just trying to trudge on and make it work for yourself. So here are the things that I do to keep myself alive <laughs> being a musician. So the first thing I do is I teach voice lessons, songwriting lessons, and branding slash like production lessons. One of these outlets is a site called Lesson Face, which has been really great for me so far. So I have had experience for a long time teaching, but I really dove into it during quarantine because it was one of the first options that was really just ready and available to me when everything kind of got shut down. So by the way, Lesson Face isn't sponsoring this video even. It's just one of the options that I have that has been pretty solid and consistent for me. What's great about Lesson Face is that you can set your own prices and you can set them for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour, however long you want to teach for. You can also set your own schedule. They have like a built-in scheduling system that you can refer to whenever you're taking on any new students. So that's great. And the students that I have gotten through Lesson Face are Returning students, it provides a consistent income in a very inconsistent time. Lessons are huge. They are actually my only consistent stream of income right now. What happens is students post inquiries saying that they're interested in a certain type of teacher and you just kind of respond right away if you can and just say like, hey, I'm, I'm available and I'm interested in teaching you. And other times students come to me because they saw my profile and are interested in taking lessons from me. And the other thing is I am hired on as a teacher with a company called Traveling Music Lessons and they're great as well. It's remote lessons. You can do them in person, but I prefer not to right now. I'm able to provide online lessons through Zoom through that company as well. And then I also am able to take on students on my own and I have my own system for that and people come from Instagram or YouTube or wherever they find me I can take on students that way. Right now I have about eight or nine consistent students which is really good and it's a really consistent way to make some money as a musician. Definitely recommend teaching online Zoom voice lessons or whatever instrument you play or any sort of like songwriting or whatever your specialty is 100% recommend teaching because I teach from home, from this room, I choose my schedule, I choose my hours, and I choose my pay. So it's pretty nice to be in control of all these different factors. So that's, that's one. Two is I just signed up with a site called Sound Better, and I will also link that below. Sound Better also is not sponsoring this video. My friend LaFreak told me about this. She's an amazing artist and songwriter and singer and guitarist and a bunch of different things. And I signed up with them and I'm able to write top lines, melodies, lyrics, whatever it is. Clients can find your profile and they find me through YouTube or Instagram or whatever, or just through the site. And I'm commissioned to write lyrics, melody, and sing over people's instrumentals or whatever the job is. You set your own prices too and you can set your own schedule. Again, you're in full control and this is super important during this crazy time. Sound Better is not exactly consistent, but when I do get a job, it's great. I know that Sound Better is also associated with Spotify, so I'll link it below. And the last stream of income that I have is from royalties. It always fluctuates, but every month I do get money from my music. So my distributor is DistroKid. I've talked about them a ton. The money that I make from Spotify streams, Apple streams, iTunes, whatever it is, that kind of bulk gets added up and 
given to me every month. So that's always a nice surprise when that comes in. And although it's not like a consistent amount, it is consistent in the fact that I will withdraw about once a month. That's what I do for income right now. I'm hoping that eventually my YouTube will get monetized. I know I have a long way to go before that happens. And what I really recommend right now is to diversify your streams of income. Have money coming in from different areas. In my case, I have money coming in from teaching, from commission work, and from royalties. I think it's really good to not put all your eggs in one basket. Because if a student cancels on me, it's really good that I have these other forms of income that will make it all right. You know, or if I don't get a sound better job, at least I have money coming in from students and from royalty. If you're a musician, you're probably not playing any shows right now. And to have money coming in from online sources where you choose your own schedule, you choose your own rates. It's a really good move right now because we don't know how long this quarantine is going to go on. So this gives you a way to just make money from your own office, your own bedroom. As long as you have a desk and a workspace, you can do all these things. And if you're an instrumentalist, you know, if, if you don't write top lines or whatever, you can play guitar, you can play drums. Use your skills to make money right now, you can. Teach your skill, get some songs out there so you can start getting royalties from them. And I'm a big believer in spending money to make money. I'm spending more money than I ever have, pretty much, on promoting my own music right now. It returns. What's great is that the money that I make, I'm investing into putting more music out there. It's a cycle where I'm hoping that eventually I'm going to be making a lot more than I'm spending. So those are my tips right now for making money as a musician in quarantine and for potentially past quarantine if it ever ends. These are really good ways for you to have multiple streams of income and to make us all living as a musician. So I hope that this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Feel free to comment below or DM me at Lynx Music. That's my Instagram. Share this video if anyone you know is struggling as a musician right now because I for sure was a few years ago and I didn't know that all these options were something that I could really make work. But you can. You can right now. I really hope that this provides you a little bit of support and in a very uncertain time. Again, like and subscribe to keep updated on my videos. I'm consistent in posting one a week and I'll see you next time.